Hi all, I just wanted to post a quick video to demonstrate a small Beaver Builder module that I've created which is based on a link that David Walmsley posted the other day. Uh, in fact he created a video which described uh, a way of posting YouTube videos on your site uh, but with much less performance penalty than using a regular embed. So using this method, we avoid all of the scripts that tend to get downloaded um, when you embed a YouTube video, which can slow down a page. And I think it's even as much as 500 kilobytes um, can be saved. I don't know if that's per video, um, but it's it's quite substantial. He, he also did a speed test, uh, so it's worth checking out his video. He, he did a speed test, and it was uh, much quicker uh, by using this method. But what I've done is create a small module which makes it slightly easier to do this um, without having to copy uh, JavaScript or CSS into your Beaver Builder settings. Um, so if we just jump across, I've created a page called Testbed. This is the page I'll use to demonstrate the module. Uh, but before I add the module in, I'll just show you the source of this page just to bring to your attention one um, small element and uh, I think it's WordPress 4.6 that added uh, what's called resource hints in. And these are these little DNS prefetch uh, tags that are added uh, to a site. Now what these do are DNS lookups to third-party sites in an uh, attempt to speed up um, uh, if the user clicks on a link to a third-party site or if uh, they, they trigger a, a download of an asset from a third-party site, what these tags are trying to do is um, the DNS part of that ahead of time. So when you come to download that, uh, that asset or you click on that link, the DNS bit is already cached. It doesn't need to be done again. And you'll see here that we've got Google Fonts uh, already looked up and... Uh, Beaver Builder theme also uses Bootstrap from the Bootstrap CDN. So those two are in there. Uh, so just, just bear that in mind and I'll just jump across back to the front end uh, of the site in the page builder and I'll add the module in. So in this case, you can see here that um, we've got uh, an option for uh, video type. We've got YouTube or Vimeo and uh, the other option is generic. So just I'll cover the gener generic one first. That's simply a text area, and um, that's for your regular iframes if you're not using YouTube or Vimeo. Um, in this instance, uh, we are obviously using YouTube uh, and Vimeo. So I'll go and grab a URL, and I'll actually use David's uh, video that he posted describing this um, this process and come back over. Now we don't need to just use the ID, we can post in the entire URL uh, and I'm using some Viva Builder functions behind the scenes that will uh, detect that it's a YouTube video and it will find the ID and uh, do some stuff with it. On top of that we've also got an icon field um, so we can add a play button icon um, like so. I'll use this YouTube looking icon there. Let's make it fairly big. And let's make it red. Now, as with David's video, we have to actually publish the page before we can see the result. So let's do so. And you can see here that we've got a uh, YouTube video thumbnail. Um, and we have the icon overlaid on top. And if I just jump over to the source, just keep your eye on lines 27 and 28 and refresh, you'll now see that there's an added DNS prefetch for youtube.com. If we go back into the page builder, I now, I'll now add a Vimeo video. And an icon and then something else just for the fun of it. 
move this into color and publish. So you can see here, um, again, we've got the Vimeo thumbnail, we have an icon on top, and we'll just jump across to the source again, and you'll see Vimeo is now showing up there as well. Uh, if I just open my Chrome developer tools, and jump across to network, and give the page a refresh, we'll just have a look and see what's being downloaded. Some analytics stuff. Um, you'll see here, if you can see behind my uh, webcam image, we have the thumbnail for Vimeo and we have the thumbnail for YouTube. We have a JSON file which just contains a bit of information. I'll just open that up so you can see what's in there. Uh, this is how I got the thumbnail. Um, You'll see that we've got the URL to the thumbnail. I'm just using the large one for now, but perhaps I'll change that in future. Um, but otherwise, there's not a huge amount other than the core website scripts and styles that, that are being downloaded here. Uh, I've got a few plugins and um, some fonts. I'm also locked in, so this is in the admin bar. But they're mostly coming from uh, my site, wpdevelopers.co.uk, or, or in this instance, they're coming from the CDN. Um, but there's not uh, a lot of scripts that are coming from YouTube or Vimeo. So if I clear this out, and I'll go and click on the play button, we'll see what then happens. Hello, this is David Wolsey, and, and in this video, I'm affected to Sorry, David, I'm going to have to mute you. Um, but you can see here that, you know, a lot of these scripts are now downloaded. Uh, I don't think all of them are downloaded in the normal embed uh, method on page load, but we're certainly avoiding downloading a lot of these uh, by doing, doing it this way. Uh, so I'm going to post this up online. Um, and perhaps if some of you fancy trying it out, it's simply a plugin that you can uh, add in a, in a regular way, just activate it, and then you'll see in the page builder um, under advanced modules, WPD optimized video embed. So give it a try. Um, perhaps don't use it on live sites uh, if you can help it. But uh, give it a go and let me know how you get on. If there's any way I can improve it, then just uh, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to try and help. Cheers.